Welcome to the fifth and final lesson of our self-defense series. Today we'll be looking at two aggressive holds and how to escape them and what to do once we escape these holds. In some instances, our opponent might even be able to grab us. If Corey has a front grip on Ash, our first call would be hands up the middle with prayer hands, using our forearms and elbows to push our opponent's arms away from our shoulders. If this does not work, our next call would be bringing our hands from the outside, chopping down onto our opponent's elbow joint, trying to break those arms. Again, if our opponent is quite strong, you may have to drop your body weight to break that grip. Turning around now, in case our opponent has us in a reverse grip. In a chokehold situation, Ash's first call would be use the closest arm to pry Corey's elbow joint and turn our head so she can breathe. Without oxygen, this would be a very short fight. Her next call would be using her elbows and feet to stomp and strike Corey wherever she can, trying to loosen his grip. Also striking sensitive areas, raking and ripping skin wherever possible. If this still doesn't work, Ash can drop her body weight, make herself very heavy for Corey, and eventually he'll break the grip. Over the last five lessons, we've explored different ways how to protect ourselves in self-defense situations. Now it's up to you to practice these skills over and over and refine them so you can be comfortable in defending yourself.